How to Resist Zombie Apocalypse Welcome to our channel. Today we dive headfirst into the thrilling and fictional realm as we unveil the ultimate survival guide on how to resist a zombie apocalypse. While purely speculative, the concept of a zombie outbreak has captured the imagination of many. From fortifying your stronghold to mastering combat techniques and survival skills, we provide a comprehensive toolkit to navigate this nightmarish scenario. Join us as we explore the science behind zombies, dissect popular myths, and equip you with strategies that could make all the difference in a world overrun by the undead. Get ready for a suspenseful and entertaining journey into how to resist a zombie apocalypse. Let's begin this adrenaline-fueled and imaginative exploration. 7. Unity is strength. Amidst a never-ending wave of walking dead chaos, one thing is clear. The zombie apocalypse is a test of friendship, strength, and smart survival. Imagine yourself in the middle of this terrifying challenge, surrounded by the slow-moving infected. A big question arises. Can you handle this scary situation all by yourself? Surviving means teaming up, forming a group of like-minded people who want to outlast this dangerous threat. The scary truth is simple. Trying to survive alone is a risky move that rarely works. As night falls and the relentless zombies keep coming, it's crucial to gather a small group of reliable friends. Think of a team where each person has unique skills, a glimmer of hope in the growing darkness. In the midst of chaos, a strong support network forms, a fortress of trust and loyalty. But within this group, there's a question. Who can you really trust? And who might have sinister plans? United by a common goal, this group becomes a symbol of human strength, proof that people can stand strong even when faced with a hopeless apocalypse. 6. Build a safe place. In a world on the edge of chaos, where groups of walking dead threaten to destroy what's left of society, building a strong and safe place becomes crucial for your survival. As the sun goes down and night arrives, the need to find a safe haven becomes more urgent. Imagine being at this point, all by yourself in the growing darkness, thinking about where you'll make your last stand. In this tough survival story, having a base is like a lifeline, a safe place that keeps you away from the relentless attacks of the undead. After the world falls apart, you need more than just a place to stay. You need a strong and smart fortress. Even an old, worn-out building turns into something more, a spot where you can plan and carry out missions. Every creaky floor and broken window tells a story of being ready. And as you move through dangerous areas, a big question comes up. Can this safe place really hold up against constant attacks, or will it fall apart along with your hopes? Inside these strong walls, a story of survival takes place, a continuous rhythm of plans and strategies, a united effort that keeps going strong no matter what happens. 5. Find Supplies After a world falls into chaos, where the creepy moans of undead creatures remind you of the dangerous reality, the most basic instinct for staying alive becomes incredibly important. Imagine yourself as a lone traveler, moving through empty streets with determination because you have to. You wonder, can you really make it in this new world? In this grim situation, finding food becomes a top priority. Scavenging for resources becomes a crucial skill, but it's not just about food. It's about finding important things that could mean the difference between life and death. Picture discovering first aid kits, a bunch of lighters, or even sleeping bags that offer a rare moment of rest from the constant tension. As you carefully gather these things that remind you of normal life, a big question hangs in the air. Can these things actually help you survive tough times, or are they just small comforts in a world that's close to being destroyed? In this ongoing challenge, being prepared becomes incredibly important. It's not just about collecting supplies. It's about having the right tools to fight against fate. To Four, don't drink too much water. In a world after the apocalypse where everything has fallen apart and a scary new order rules, even something as simple as getting a drink of water becomes risky. As you look around at the empty and dangerous world, you realize that every choice you make is super important for staying alive. The peaceful streams you used to enjoy now hide a danger, reminding you of the pandemic that has hurt humanity. But can you really trust your feelings to tell the safe things from the dangerous ones in this new and fragile reality? 
While you're on this tough journey, finding something to drink isn't just about having enough food, it's also about fighting an enemy you can't see. The threat of getting sick is big and it's hiding in the shadows, waiting for the right moment to attack. Even a simple bottle of water, which used to be a sign of something clean, can now bring either life or death. As you hold that bottle, you wonder, can this small bit of liquid actually protect you from the sickness that's spreading, or is it just a false feeling of safety in a world that's almost falling apart? In this dangerous struggle for survival, something as basic as getting a drink becomes a careful and risky thing. But the problems don't stop with water. They go all the way to staying clean and safe. 3. Wait in a tough world where survival is the main tune, the idea of taking care of yourself goes beyond just you. It turns into a shared story of strength with everyone else. In this serious situation where every choice could be life or death, a big question comes up. Can you really afford to be lazy? Or is your ability to help out linked to your own survival? Imagine standing with others who are also trying to survive. The feeling of not being sure what will happen next hangs over you, making you realize that being weak could mean not making it at all. Each person in your group needs to play their part like a piece of a well-working machine, a crucial part of the big picture of humanity's fight for the future. You wonder if you can afford to be the weak link, the one who doesn't do much but wants a lot, or if you'll step up to be someone strong and really important. In this intense story of survival, where people team up because they have to, one thing is clear. What you do and how you help defines where you fit in this new way of living. Every action, every skill you have is like money that buys your ticket to safety, a protection against the danger that's getting closer and closer. Two, don't take zombie as a joke. In a world covered in sadness, there's an important rule for survival. Never, ever think that zombies are easy to deal with. During the bright daytime, these scary creatures might seem slow and harmless, tricking you into feeling safe. But when the sun goes down and everything gets dark, something creepy happens. Like mean shadows, these once slow creatures lose their laziness and wake up with a fierce energy. They're super hungry for human flesh and become really active and fast. Imagine this scene. The moon is up in the dark sky, making everything look strange. You can hear leaves moving, branches making creepy sounds. It's like a quiet and scary song that tells you they're coming. 1. Be careful with human. In the world of survival, something really unsettling comes up. It's really hard to tell who's on your side and who's not. In this messed up world after everything went wrong, there's one thing you need to remember. Be careful with other people, because they can be both your saviors and your betrayers. It's kind of like the scary stories you hear, like in The Walking Dead, where there's lots of blood and people being tricky. The mix of friendship and meanness is like a complicated dance that can either drag you down or lift you up unexpectedly. Imagine what's happening. Survivors stick together because they're all trying to make it through and they kind of trust each other. But deep down, there could be hidden plans that are like a hidden sore, covered up by acting friendly. You might ask yourself, how can you know who's really your friend? and who might be planning something bad when everyone is so desperate. Then suddenly, you see the truth. And it's really scary when the groups fall apart and people start being tricky. You wonder again, is it okay to ignore the fact that someone you used to trust might actually be planning something bad? In this tough situation of trying to survive, people can be both your heroes and your enemies. And it's hard to know what they'll do. The facts show that sometimes people do really bad things that change history. Just like how shadows cover the wasteland and secrets are carried by the wind, you have to be careful and know that trusting someone can be even more important than gold. That's it for this video. Thank you for watching. Do like, share, comment, and subscribe to our channel.